we will continue our discussion with uh, the demonstration of various applications. We will now go over to demonstrate how exactly new applications are installed on the Akash device. Ordinarily installation of software on your computers is done either by yourself if you are familiar with the installation process or by some uh, technical team members uh, who will help you in installing this. Since Akash tablets are highly individualistic devices, it is expected that most people using these tablets will be able to do such installation of applications themselves. For the purposes of installing our applications, we have a process. Incidentally, this entire procedure has been loaded onto the course Moodle. So, when you connect to the course Moodle, you will be able to look at all the material that I am going to discuss here. Let us move over to the Flickr application. I have with me my colleague Rajesh Kucharkar, uh, who leads the team of uh, technical people who have developed this application. So, these are some of the people. Of course, there are many more who are at different places. And this team, which has been working on the Clicker device uh, for, a, for a long time. So, let us now get to the task of understanding how the Clicker application is to be installed on your tablet. First of all, all applications which are to be installed on Android tablets come in the form of a package, a software package, which has a name called APK. So, you can say it means application package sort of. So, the APK files are the files which contain the application to be installed. Clicker APK is one such file. Incidentally, if you want to install 20 applications, each of those 20 applications will have their own APK files. These APK files can be supplied either through the development such as ours and the future development which will occur through the students and teachers working on projects at your places. But many of these applications are also available on the net. Some of these are free. Some of these are not only free, but are also open source, which means they can be distributed, but some are costed products. I would like to warn you of one discipline that all of us need to follow necessarily. And this discipline is about maintaining the sanctity of intellectual property rights. Unfortunately, in India, we are not very careful about respecting the license under which the software is distributed. It is not uncommon, for example, in many places, including some of our colleges, to have software loaded onto servers and desktops, which is not properly paid for. You will see this when you see a whole lot of uh, Microsoft products, for example, or a whole lot of commercial products copied, loaded and being used. We at IIT Bombay believe that such acts are actually criminal acts. This is really nothing less than theft and we discourage such practices completely. That is one of the reasons why we work so much on open source software where there is no license fee to be paid because the software license is free for all. I will just tell you the IIT Bombay policy on such matters. All software that is used by any student or teacher on any machine should either be a licensed software, whether the license fee is properly paid for or it should be open source software. We discourage heavily use of any software which is obtained otherwise. Having said this, let us go on to the Android application uh, installation process. So, as I said, there will be APK files and those APK files which you have either purchased or which are available in open source can be installed on your tablet. Incidentally, all APK files which IIT Bombay will be releasing will be necessarily in open source so that all of you can copy, use them and even distribute them. So, let us quickly look at the procedure for installing Clicker app. First of all, you can go to the website 
which is www.it.iitb.ac.in slash Moodle. This is the course Moodle. On this course Moodle, the two day IST workshop on Akash for education is the course. After you log in and go to your course, you will find a whole lot of contents available there. This will be the first page on the Moodle that you will see when you log in and in, the, in this first page, you will see variety of items including some downloads, etc., etc. At the bottom, you will find clicker software. This may not be visible to you, but the last line on your home page of the course will mean, will, will, will mention clicker software. In order to install what you do is, you first switch on the tablet. As we have seen, a lock will appear of this kind. You will have to move it on the right hand side so that the tablet unlocks. And once the tablet unlocks, you will see the home screen which will appear like this. It will show Akash applications and APL. APL actually stands for Application Programming Lab. It's a special lab which we have created, which we'll describe later and which permits people to use this tablet as a programming device. You can do C, C++, Python and Scilab programming on this tablet. Let us get back to the installation procedure for clicker. So once you come to this screen, you should insert an external SD card in which the clicker application has been copied. Now how will you do that? Typically from a laptop or from your desktop, you will download the clicker application which is on the Moodle. This will be a file. That file should be copied in one of your directory. This file needs to be copied onto an SD card. Typically, you can connect an SD card to a desktop or a laptop using conventional cables and attachments. Once you get the file copied onto SD card, you have to insert this SD card inside the tablet. Uh, now here you will notice that there are buttons on this side, there are buttons on this side and there is an SD card slot. So you will see this is the SD card slot in which you have to insert the SD card. Once you insert the SD card, that SD card has to be recognized by the tablet. So in order to see the contents of that SD card, you have to go to the file manager. That means you will open up all the icons and in these icons, you will see an icon which is called file manager. It is this file manager which you have to click. When you click the file manager, the file manager will open up and it will show various directories that are available inside the Akash tablet. So you have directories like alarms, Android, APL, APL image, Blender animation. Some of them will have familiar names that you would have seen. Some will be unfamiliar names. Please note that this is not the directory of the SD card. This is the directory of the Android tablet itself. And this is seen by what is highlighted here. So the highlight here is the highlight of the uh, device itself. You will now have to select the SD card on the top line. When you select the SD card, it will show you the contents of the SD card. Depending upon what all things you have loaded on the SD card which you have inserted in the tablet, you may see many entries here. Of these, the most important entry is the clicker.apk. This is the file which you have copied from your laptop or desktop to the SD card and this is the file which now needs to be inserted uh, for installation in the tablet. You click on install and when you click on the install, it will ask you whether do you mean to install this application. Now allow this application to network communication, system tools, show all. At this juncture, you just press the install button here and then the tablet will respond by saying it is installing. So I repeat it is very simple, copy the clicker file, APK file onto SD card, insert the SD card here and after inserting the SD card, go to the file manager, open the file manager and click on the clicker application. 
the moment you click that itself is a signal for installing after permitting it to install it will start installation and after I think it takes hardly a few seconds because this application is a very small application it will say application is installed. The reason I spent so much time deliberating upon this is to tell you that in exactly same fashion all applications can be installed on uh, your Akash device. So any application you get an APK file, put it on an SD card, insert it here, go to the file manager, open up the SD card directory and click on the appropriate APK file and that application would be installed. Having installed it, you can go to the menu option. So this is the menu option here. As I told you, it does not say menu. It just shows these so many dots. By the way, this is a very peculiar feature of Android the icons are slightly different than what you see on the desktop. So what you see on the main screen on Android, anywhere here or here or anywhere else, when you see such series of dots, it means the menu. Similarly, at a particular point, there are similar dots here at the bottom. They represent the local menu for the current application that is in force. So you select the menu, you will again come back to all the icons. In these icons, you will now find the clicker application which is loaded. Please note that this symbol would not have been there earlier. Only after you install the clicker APK, this particular symbol will come here. At this time, you have to click on this symbol. Now, it may show a message that your tablet is not connected to Wi-Fi. Let me first briefly explain how this application works. This application envisages a teacher to show a quiz on your screen which will be uh, which will be visible to you now all the students in your class will have tablets in their hand they need to connect the clicker application to the back end server which you are using for running the quiz in this particular case the main server is at iit bombay each of the colleges have a local server which is connected to the wi fi access point in your hall or lecture room or lab wherever you are conducting this quiz. Now, for in order for you to conduct the quiz, it is important that all the tablets in the hands of students be connected to that access point through Wi-Fi. Fundamentally, it requires that the Wi-Fi connection itself must be switched on. Now, ordinarily when you switch on the tablet, the Wi-Fi connection may come on and it will get connected. But if Wi-Fi connection is not on, you may want to go to the Wi-Fi settings. This shows that the message that you will get is Wi-Fi is disabled. So please check Wi-Fi settings and it says how you go to those settings. You go to settings, wireless and networks and Wi-Fi. So you go back to the main menu, to the home screen, select the menu option again, which is this. And in this menu option, so this is the setting menu. Please familiarize yourself with this menu. This shows lines connected to some dots. This is a standard settings menu in all Android tablets. When you click on the settings menu, you will go to the settings. In that, there are different settings. Device settings, sound, display, storage. You can play with these things to find out what they do. What we are concerned with right now is the Wi-Fi setting. And it may be off. So what you have to do is you have to click on this off and switch it on. When you switch on the Wi-Fi, you see this shows the on position. You will see on the right hand side a series of networks. There may be multiple networks available through Wi-Fi in your classroom. What you are seeing is the network names which are typically available in a classroom in our computer science department. So you have Akash, you have KR Wi-Fi, you have Test Wi-Fi, you have China Net something, something. There may be large number of names. Please note that in your vicinity, if there is a Wi-Fi network, it will show its presence because Wi-Fi is a omniverse kind of connectivity. Now, this is important. The local coordinator will tell you what is the name of the Wi-Fi network that has been set up in your own college. You have to click on that particular network. So, do not go by the names that I am showing here. You have to know the name of the Wi-Fi network which is accessible by your tablet and which is meant for conducting these classroom quizzes. 
you will select that after you select the network and network is connected you select the clicker application again through the same menu process and now the clicker application because it finds the connection it will ask you for these two pieces of information in fact as you see this those of the teachers who have the akash tablets in their hands may want to enter the enrollment id and the server ip address on their tablets so please switch on your tablets go to the wifi access point select the wifi access point if wifi is disabled and after selecting the access point you have to insert these details in the clicker device please note that this enrollment id refers to your enrollment number i hope each one of you remembers the enrollment number for this workshop this number is available on the moodle so from the moodle you will know your enrollment id which you have to enter here and then you have to enter the server ip address ip stands for internet protocol and not intellectual property in the context of this software internet protocol is the standard protocol that is used for exchanging information across various nodes connected on internet each such node has a unique address called ip address what is important here is that the server which has been installed to handle quizzes in your college its ip address needs to be entered here this ip address is known to your akash coordinator and to the technical team so collect that ip address and enter it here enter the enrollment number here how do you enter it where is the keyboard actually when you click on enter enrollment number automatically a typewriter will appear and using that typewriter using the numeric keypad you can enter your enrollment id similarly you can insert the ip address here after you have done this you should connect to the clicker server in case you have a problem you will see three dots here you remember what i told you about three dots this is the local help menu at any one point in time whatever application you are running so if you press this you will get help and the help will guide you in case you have had any problem so for example the help page here says enter enrollment id you have to enter the registered enrollment id and you have to enter server ip address which is for the local clicker server what is not written here is that you will obtain this local clicker server ip address from your coordinator this is a sample you enter let's say 1 2 3 4 5 6 of course your enrollment numbers will be different each one of you have to enter your own enrollment number the center server ip address entered here is not what you should enter this server ip address is for the clickers which are being used in iit bombay so this is our local server ip address in each of the 246 colleges which are participating in this workshop each college has a different ip address depending upon the local ip allocation strategy and your coordinator or technical team would be able to tell you that once you give this the quiz page will appear on your side it will say something like your ip address colon 8080 remote akash clicker jsp participant jsp page slash participant this is sort of the full name of the path through which the clicker application is working please note that this application which is called the clicker remote application is an application which has been which this page is being shown by the application which is installed on your tablet so this will have a button called quiz and this will have an option for log out when you log out and it will have the enrollment id you can see whatever is your enrollment id it is here incidentally we have also enabled the akash tablet with the aadhar authentication in future when we integrate aadhar numbers in our entire national system ecosystem any student who is participating in the quiz and shows the correct enrollment number may be required to authenticate himself or herself by putting a thumb on an accompanying device or on the camera of the clicker so that the fingerprint is authenticated uh, at the back end so that you will know that the student is indeed one who he or she claims to be 
but that is for future. Right now, the only indication you get is your enrollment number. When next time clicker is open, it will directly display the connect button. See, this is the advantage. Initially, you do the connection of Wi-Fi and so on. Once you are connected to Wi-Fi, once the IP server address is properly given, next time you open the clicker application, directly it will show you a connect button. In cases where some of your uh, Akash devices have already got an enrollment number entered and have already got a server IP address entered, which might have been done by your technical team or by your Akash coordinator, then you should see only the connect button. When you see the connect button, you have to press on the connect button in order to connect to the clicker. In case you require help and settings to change anything, that appears again from this help pane. Of course, if you are connected, you do not require any help. You are ready to conduct the quiz. The help page which will appear this time will again say to change the server IP address, click on menu and go to settings and to change the and then you enter the IP address. Again enter server IP address in the local clicker server. After selecting settings, the option screen will appear as follows. Settings, server IP. Please note, this time you are trying to change the server IP if there was a problem. So, the present server IP address will be shown here. Now, you will enter the correct IP address here and once it is correct, you will press OK. And then you will press on the connect button. You will be back to the clicker quiz page. In short, this is the method of connecting to the clicker. It might appear slightly involved to you because this is the first time you are trying to experience a quiz being conducted on an electronic device. Uh, I will like to take two minutes to tell you great change of method of education this particular utility permits us. For example, ordinarily as a teacher, if I want to conduct a quiz, as you would be doing as colleague teachers in your colleges, you will be actually setting a quiz, typing it out, Xeroxing enough copies and you will have answer books or multiple choice options on that same single sheet. Now look at the physical mechanism needed to conduct this quiz. You and your assistants will distribute that quiz if there are 60 students, it will take 3 to 4 minutes after which the students will attempt the quiz. Now, the quiz may be only for 2 minutes, but after 2 minutes, the quiz answers are actually lying on papers in front of each student. You and your teaching assistants will have to collect all these things. You will see that in order to conduct a 2 minute quiz, you will have to physically spend as many as 15 to 20 minutes. That is the reason why we teachers never conduct a quiz containing only 1 or 2 questions. We conduct a quiz for 10 questions or 20 questions because we can conduct it only once in a month or once in two months. But imagine what happens to my effectiveness of teaching. I have taught some, uh, some uh, topics for let us say one month. At the end of one month, I conduct the quiz. When the quiz papers come back, I will have to spend one or two days in correcting the quiz. Only when I correct the quiz, I find that some people have understood the topics but some others have not. Please note that one month has already elapsed and the student who has not understood the concepts which were covered in the first or second lecture, already one month has gone and now it is too late for me to even try and explain those concepts because so much more material has been covered. What should actually happen? If I am teaching a topic, then in the same class, I should get to know whether most people have understood the topic or not. That means, I should be conducting a quiz practically in every lecture, in fact, sometimes twice in a lecture. The reason we do not do it today is we cannot do it properly. Even to conduct a single question quiz, remember, I will have to spend 15 minutes in conducting the quiz and even at the end, I do not know how many people have understood and how many people have not understood. This particular mechanism of using Akash tablets for conducting quizzes not only permits me to conduct a two minute quiz in three minutes maximum. More importantly, after I complete the quiz conduct, the answers which are there in the Akash tablets of all the students are automatically collected back in my server. 
and within half a minute I will know how many people have understood the concept and how many have not understood. We got this idea of the clicker device and the clicker software by the way by watching Kon Banega Karodpati where great Amitabh Bachchan conducts opinion poll of the audience. You would have seen, many of you would have seen that uh, series in which the opinion poll is conducted and in about 15, 20 seconds or one minute the conductor knows exactly how many people are saying A, how many people are saying B, how many people are saying C. We are merely using a similar mechanism. We first implemented this mechanism on a device called Clicker which was designed by Rajesh Kusharkar's team. Now we have ported the entire software, developed it as a web based software on the Akash tab. So this is exactly the mechanism. I now will uh, request uh, uh, Rajesh Kusharkar to actually conduct a quiz and uh, for that purpose I would request uh, all the uh, faculty members participating in remote centers in each of their remote centers. Uh, your Akash coordinator with the help of technical staff have already set up a server, have already loaded the backend software required to conduct the quiz and hopefully they would have installed the clicker application on all your devices. It is quite possible that in some of the remote centers, the Akash tablets themselves might have reached only late yesterday evening, in which case the clicker software may not have been installed. I would request all 15, 17,000 participants to primarily watch how the quiz is being conducted because eventually most of you will be conducting quizzes like this using the Akash tablet. This is merely a demonstration. There are some people in IIT who are sitting with clicker devices which we, who will answer the question that we are asking. Of course, since we have not discussed any specific technical topic, the quiz will be a general knowledge quiz. So I repeat again, all the participants who have in their hands a tablet computer should switch it on, should ensure that it is connected to Wi-Fi and they should come to this screen. It is quite likely that some of you have already got this screen on your tablets and some others have not got. But it does not matter, we are just going to demonstrate the quiz conduct and uh, I will now request uh, uh, Ms. Kushalkar to start the quiz. So they are conducting a small quiz now. What they have is the teacher's front end. A teacher who is conducting the front end. Now what you see on the screen is not what you will see on your tablet. This is actually a teacher's console. So this is the quiz which is going to be conducted now. He is going to set the amount of time. Please set it as 2 minutes. So let two people have 2 minutes. He is setting it for 2 minutes and when he says launch the quiz, the quiz will be launched and this quiz should then appear on individual tablets in your hands. Please launch the quiz. Now please note that students in a classroom will also be able to see the screen that is displayed here. That means the quiz is also displayed on the screen. Additionally, now you will see this is the Akash tablet. So this is the tablet that will be in the hands of students. All of you who have the click, uh, who have the Akash tablets properly connected to Wi-Fi should be able to see this screen. Now this is where you can answer your questions. So depending upon what answer you click, after this uh, you answer one question, you press on the next button. So this is the second question which says, when was the first Akash tablet launched? You can give any answer. I am deliberately giving a wrong answer here. I have completed both the answers. If there are multiple questions which are possible, I can go to a previous question. At this stage, I do not need to press the previous button or anything. I have completed actually my answers. Please note on the right hand corner here, you will see the remaining time. I still have 19 seconds for example. It will differ from place to place because depending upon when the quiz is actually launched on your Akash device, your timer will start at that point. 
this ensures that every participant gets exactly 2 minutes. So, when this time is over, the quiz answers are collected. You will see that the teacher now is watching the responses which are received here. Uh, the teacher will actually see as many remote centers which are connected. So, you will notice 1000 is Indian Institute of Technology, Bombay. 1001 is Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology, 1002 is Amarjyoti College of Engineering Technology and so on. Now depending upon how many tablet computers in the hands of recipients in these centers have responses, those responses will be received. So if I see view all responses, this will actually try to collect responses from all the remote centers and it will show the responses here. This takes some time because please note that responses in each individual college are actually collected in your local server. So, what our software is doing is it is transferring all the files which are called XML files collected in your local servers and they are being brought to a central server here. That is how we will be able to conduct a quiz across the whole country in a distributed fashion. Please note that if all 17,000 participants had actually have the 17,000 tablets in their hands, at each center there are 60, 70, 80, 100 people, then the local server is perfectly capable of conducting a quiz for the local number of participants. Once all the participants have answered, I can collect the feedback from all centers at IIT Bombay. Can you see how powerful this weapon is? Now, a classroom can be spread across the whole country, the number of remote centers. Uh, so, apparently uh, my colleague reports to me that responses have been collected from 108 remote centers, but there are 255 remote centers and all the files are getting collected here. I will revert back, the current version that you see is meant to conduct quizzes across a number of institutes at each of which there are number of participants. But we will soon be fine tuning this version and there will be a version available at each college where a teacher can conduct a quiz directly for the number of students who are physically attending the class. That means the same software will be configured such that it can be used to conduct quizzes locally in a college and also to conduct quizzes across multiple institutions. Let me digress and tell you that right now you are attending a workshop being conducted at IIT Bombay, but in future many such workshops will be conducted parallelly by IIT Bombay and IIT Kharagpur and eventually by 10 hub institutions uh, which will be our nodal centers. Indeed, uh, maybe next year it will be possible for any one of the colleges which are now Akash uh, remote centers to actually offer such workshops to other neighboring colleges and you will be able to conduct a distributed quiz across all those colleges which connect to you. So, this is the potential that this application has. Uh, so, this for example is the response from one of the institutions, uh, do you have the institute number? So, let us go to Maulana Azad National Institute of Technology. They have received only two tablets and these two tablets have answered. Question 1 was answered correctly by one and there was no response from one tablet. Exactly the same thing happened that means out of two we could collect only one response. Uh, can we show any other institute which has a number of tablets? Uh, we are ourselves discovering some deficiencies in the software. For example, we do not know how many responses we have got from each college, although that data is there, the reporting software is not displaying that. Uh, does not matter, we will try some college uh, arbitrarily, uh, let us try this 1006, now, there was only one tablet, we will go to Amal Jyoti College and see, oh. So you see Amal Jyoti College, uh, there are 15 tablets in the hands of 15 participants who have responded to this quiz, 10 of them have answered correctly, 5 of them have given wrong answers to the first question. The second question, 
13 have given right answers, 2 have given wrong answers. I wanted to dwell upon this just for one minute to emphasize how important this facility could be. Suppose I am teaching an actual technical subject and I conduct a quiz and I find out that 10 people have understood this particular concept uh, examined by question 1, but 5 have not understood. On the other hand, the concept examined by question 2, 13 have understood, 2 have not understood. Now, I can either decide to explain through one more example the concept behind question 1, because roughly half the students have uh, or one third students have not understood the concept. Suppose this number was 14 and the correct answer was given only by one person. As a teacher, I immediately know that this concept is not well understood. And before, without waiting for one month or two months to get this feedback, immediately in the same class, I can actually explain that concept more by taking one more example. Incidentally, it is not just that I get to know the total number of responses, I also get to know the individual number of responses, individual response. For example, if I want to find out who are the students or participants who have answered it correctly, I just click on this and what I get to see is center ID, participant ID and the response. So, the people who have given different responses are clearly indicated here. This is one just demonstration. We eventually, by the time we conduct the workshop in December, we expect to have adequate number of tablets in the hands of all the participants of the workshop in each of our remote centers and Professor Gayatonde will hopefully conduct actual technical quizzes. Please note one more educational advantage of this. I mentioned about the teacher generally coming to know whether a concept is understood or not, but there is something more that a teacher gets to know. At the back end, the responses are collected and are accumulated. The database actually stores responses of each individual student throughout the semester that I am teaching the course. Incidentally, at IIT Bombay, we use it to actually grade the student. So, grading is now automated, the total quiz answers are collected and that can be, we are now working on integrating the results with the Moodle database, which we use as a course management system. But more important than that, if for example, I give three or four lectures in a week, at the end of three or four lectures, I know that maybe two or three students are consistently unable to understand a concept. Then I have a great information feedback which I can use in the following fashion. This is what I do by the way, when I teach courses in IIT using those clicker devices, now I will be using the Akash tablet. So what I do, I call my teaching assistant and tell him, that look, these are the four students who do not seem to have understood much in this particular week. Please spend an extra time with them. If I find for two weeks consistently two or three students who have a problem, I personally can spend time with them. Please note that the knowledge that certain students are not able to understand a concept, if that knowledge comes to me very quickly, I can immediately take corrective action. There is another dimension of this process which I use and which I would like to share with you. When I conduct such quizzes over the week, two weeks, I will find that a few students are answering all questions correctly. Of course, as far as grading is concerned, they will get 100 percent marks in the quizzes and probably get an A grade in the course, but that is not the point. The moment I know in the first two weeks of my teaching that I have these, let us say, eight students out of 60 who are correctly answering all quizzes. That means they are more studious, they learn perhaps faster, they are perhaps more creative, they are effectively the smarter the people who have completely understood the concepts which I have taught so far. What must I do as a teacher? I must call them for 15 minutes and I must challenge them with harder problems. These are the people who perhaps have greater creative talents, we do not know. Please remember, that a fundamental duty of a teacher is try to ensure that every student in my class learns the subject minimally so much. Generally, I will be targeting the medium of my class. So, majority of my students are understanding things, I am happy. But with these devices, I can concentrate on two important segments of my class. One, 
the people who are not able to understand things quickly so that I can provide hand holding either directly myself or through my teaching assistant. And second and equally important component are the people who are understanding everything properly. They are clearly the people who need to be challenged because they are the people who can go ahead of the class, ahead of even my knowledge, learn much more and contribute effectively. So this then is the advantage of the clicker system. We will conclude this demonstration at this juncture. How are we doing on time? To interact with a few of the remote centers uh, where I will take questions related only to the clicker uh, software. There are some questions which have been raised by people. Hindustan Institute of Technology and Management, Agra, over to you. Now, what are the control rights of clicker at a local host? Like if I want uh, my responses, responses in my class, I have done my quiz right or wrong. Yes. Now, what control rights I will have as a local host? Good question. So, as I said, we are modifying the clicker software as we speak. The team is working on it. First of all, there is no question of control rights or anything. You have full rights over all that happens in your remote center. Very obviously, the local coordinator must know independently what are the results available for the quiz. Eventually, you will be conducting this quiz yourself for the students. But for the final software for the distributed quiz, what we are going to do is that each remote center will be able to see the detailed results of the quiz for every quiz that is conducted uh, even globally by us. Uh, you will get to see the complete documentation. We hope to complete this development and modification to this software first phase in about 15 days time. So much before the December workshop, all of you will have a new version of the clicker. This new version will change only the back end. So that means the front end clicker application need not be changed at all. The front end application will continue as it is. The back end application will be changed to give you full control and full information about what is happening globally in terms of statistical parameters and locally in terms of responses of each participant. Uh, let me go over to I will go over to Salt Lake City, Calcutta. Yes. Uh, hello, over to you. Please ask your question. So, once we get that particular clicker software with full control, then we can access, uh, we can uh, conduct the quiz for our students as well. For the 60 students that you have told, uh, that 60 students will get the uh, tablet. Yes. Uh, your, your, your observation is perfectly correct. We are Actually, uh, we are toying with the following idea. If you have any more ideas, you can send them on a email on Moodle. What we are thinking of doing is that anytime you select center number 0, the center number 0 will be a local center. So, all that you need to do is currently you have installed a software which is only a local remote center software, but you additionally need the software which we run at our backend. Of course, all of this software is going to be released in open source. So, we will be sending you full software. What you will have to do is you will have to install the backend software also. And using that backend software and selecting a remote center 0, you will be able to conduct quizzes locally. In that case, no data will come to us. All the data will come to your own backend software. And you can see all the reports that we are seeing here. So, in short, yes you will be able to conduct the quizzes in your local classroom. Incidentally, uh, the same software, the back end can be used to conduct simultaneously quizzes in multiple classrooms. So, let us say one year later or two years later, your college has say 2000 tablets and almost all students in multiple classes are equipped with this tablet. It is possible for every teacher to simultaneously conduct quizzes for different subjects. That is exactly what we have tried in IIT successfully and you will be able to do that. Over to you Tejpur. My question is that when we exercise the quiz, suppose two students are sitting side by side, then the same question will appear to both of them or we can mix up the questions or the sequence will change so that the answer given by the student 
with sitting side by side is it is not the same in the sequence or something like that this issue occurred to us like you i am also a teacher and most others think like that because to prevent copying is also an important thing copying is a syndrome which has to be prevented rather than caught and punished so exactly like what you have thought we are working on the following software when the questions are downloaded onto individual akash tablets there will be two sets of randomization that will occur first of all question one on my tablet will not be question one on your tablet so if you are conducting a quiz containing five questions the questions themselves will appear in different orders second for each question the choices themselves will be shuffled so which means if i blindly look into my neighbor's tablet and if he is pressing c for question 2 and i press c for question 2 i am bound to get a wrong answer this requires of course that each tablet is very properly and uniquely identified by the enrollment number of that student because what we are doing is that the back end software we are keep keeping a mapping of which question is appearing as what question number in this student's tablet and what are the choices and we will map that with the correct answer so thank you very much for pointing this important point out let me go over to we have a sweri college of engineering at pandarpur over to you ha huh, sir will it be possible to install these applications as like clicker on any android mobiles very good question so i will answer that question and also make an observation uh, uh, the answer is technically yes so i would like to repeat what i once said all the applications that we develop and all the applications that you and your students will be developing will all be released in open source there is a common repository there are multiple common repositories of open source software we tend to use git forge as one of the repositories we will be creating our own repository so all our software will be kept there for open access and usage our license is free now you yourself can try this out take this application install it on your uh, android phone and see whether it works or not ordinarily if an application is di distributed only in dot apk format then if it does not work on android phones you will not be able to do much however please remember that for our applications we will be releasing the complete source code the entire source code some design document and everything so that means anybody who wishes to modify that application or make it suitable to work on any android phone is perfectly capable and able to do that so in short the answer is yes very much these applications can work on any android tablet we are aware of the fact that we are distributing about 1 lakh android tablets but in this country soon there will be 1 crore or 2 crore tablets and many of our students will be having these tablets on their own and it should be possible for them to run all our applications so this is a short answer to your question institute in kurukshetra haryana over to you for your comments and questions last four digits that we have to write in enrollment number what are those four what is this enrollment number this is the enrollment number that we are getting from the registered when we have registered that number a current clicker application uh, the instructions are different from what we did in the coordinators workshop in the coordinators workshop we input the last four digits which were part of the serial number of akash tablet we have removed that now what instead we are saying is each participant should be entering the enrollment number that is part of the registration process of the workshop so there is i think it's a five digit enrollment number which is available on moodle that enrollment number needs to be uh, in fact since there is so much of uh, so much of interest maybe i will request uh, my colleague uh, professor gaitonde to perhaps conduct one more quiz tomorrow so that uh, after this uh, more people can set up their enrollment numbers and so on and tomorrow we will be able to collect a much larger number of uh, feedback from people i have another question that while connecting we are required to use clicker software or the local software 
I am not able to connect. You are required to connect to the Wi-Fi connect to your local server. You cannot directly connect to IIT Bombay server. So please ask your technical team to check the installation of your local server and please check the installation of Wi-Fi connectivity between that server and the clicker devices. Uh, there are instructions there. Uh, we can take this issue offhand. Uh, please raise an issue on Moodle and please ask your technical team to send an email uh, to my colleague uh, Rajesh Kushalkar who is the team manager. He will be glad to send you an answer by tonight and you can try it out when tomorrow Professor Gayatonde conducts a quiz. Thank you so much. There is an institute in Delhi, Bhagwan Parshuram Institute of Technology in New Delhi. Over to you for your observations and comments. Good morning, sir, from uh, uh, Bhagwan Parshuram Institute of Technology. We are very much pleased to hold this uh, workshop in our institute. And in fact, there are a large number of uh, faculty members who are participating in this uh, workshop quite, uh, uh, with quite interest. Uh, we have a faculty member who is having some question, so I will hand over. Sir, my question is that clicker software questions in the, as a quiz, are they, can only be text format or can we have some images or videos embedded in this pitch? It's a very good point that you have made. Currently, what we have done is we have implemented by redeveloping the software that we had earlier on the clicker devices and put that on Akash. You will agree that earlier the quizzes that we conducted were of this simple type of A, B, C, D and so on. We are working constantly because the Akash tablet is now available. It can display even images. It can display PDF files. It can display even videos. We will be constantly working on it. Uh, thank you for mentioning that you have also thought of the same idea. And I am sure many other teachers like us would be thinking of innovations that can be done in conducting of the quiz. And uh, uh, although our initial development has started, uh, that particular software is only in the design stage, but we will be releasing it in versions. And in fact, this is one aspect where some students and some teachers from your college might want to jointly participate in the further development. We will be releasing the entire source code for further evolution and we will be creating versions for different people to work on. Thank you very much for pointing out this. We have Don Bosco College from Guwahati. Over to you, Guwahati. Myself, Rupan Kumar Sarma from Don Bosco College of Engineering and Technology. Sir, I have a question. Uh, in this clicker software, this set of questions that we will put, is it a common set of questions that every user who log in will get or we can categorize this set of questions based on the user type, based on their background? Over. Your question actually uh, is raising a very important issue which many of us have been grappling with. Different students learn things at different pace and it is important for me to ask different kinds of questions depending upon the state of preparedness. Indeed, that is possible and many e-learning software permit such individualized quizzes. The answer is yes, it is entirely possible to do so and that feature should appear in the future versions of the clicker. But more importantly, I forgot to mention that what you were seeing was merely the quiz conduct portion of that software. That is not the only person. Firstly, somebody has to set the quizzes and they have to be inserted in the database. So there is another interface for the teacher. Suppose you are teaching a course either on heat engines or on databases or whatever, then you would like to A, use questions from any available question bank and also B, you would like to set your own questions. So where will you set these questions? How will you set those questions, etc.? There is a separate interface for teacher and that documentation will also be supplied uh, along with uh, our software when we release it so that you can use it properly. To conclude, there are two answers to your question. Firstly, every teacher can decide which uh, quiz questions to be used and every teacher will be, it will be possible for every teacher to insert in the database the questions of his or her choice. Secondly, it should be possible to give different questions to different students. Although 
I would submit that one cannot generalize this. Ordinarily, the best usage of this clicker software is to conduct a common quiz for all my students. But yes, this same methodology and same technique can be used for conducting individualized quizzes as well. Let me go over to NIT Warangal. Over to you, NIT Warangal. Uh, Pro Professor Pathak, congratulations to IT Bombay team. It's a technical marvel where 70,000 of the teachers in the technical education are connected into the same platform. It has a huge potential to enhance the quality of the technical education. I have an advice in the during the next these, during these two days. It would be good if you can understand the roadmap of the Akash project in detail. How this is planned to be used for a technical education. Over to you. Thank you. Yes, I will be spending some time today in the concluding session to talk about the future roadmap of how Akash is to be integrated uh, in the in the technical education. There is an institute, KMEA Engineering College, Alua, in Ernakulam. Over to Ernakulam, will somebody make a brief comment? My name is Ansia, and I am an assistant professor here in uh, Electronics and Communication Department. Sir, my question to you is, actually we have been talking about the quiz, and it is possible for the teachers to put the quiz, but where is the location actually? How can we update it? Is it to our local server or uh, do we have to uh, send the quiz to IIT Bombay? Thank you very much. Very good question. For the purposes of this demonstration, the database server is in IIT Bombay. And the quiz has to be uploaded here. However, when you want to conduct a quiz, that quiz will be conducted from your local server itself. And whether the question of updating, of course, the question has to be updated in the database server. But let me remind all of us that the physical location of the server does not matter. As long as you have authenticated permission to insert quiz in a database, you can easily insert a new quiz of your choice, even if the server is located in IIT Bombay. But your question is right. Currently, the database server is in IIT Bombay. In the next version, which will be released, there would be a database server in each one of your locations where the local teachers will be permitted access to that database uh, with an authenticated password, etc. And they will be able to insert questions, quiz questions, etc. of their choice. Thank you so much. I have Mufakkam Ja Institute in Hyderabad. I have a brief comment, sir. Over to you. My name is Mohammad Dumer Khadri. I am working as an assistant professor in Instrumentation Engineering Department. Uh, first of all, I would like to just have a, a few seconds that we are very happy that we are the part of this uh, workshop. Thanks for uh, selecting us as a remote center. And my question is, sir, if uh, can I conduct this quiz for different colleges at the same time? Like uh, I have some questions, I will dump it on the server and some other college located in Hyderabad or somewhere else, can the students uh, in that college and my students appearing the quiz at the same time. Is it possible? And the second question, sir, I would like to ask, I am from the instrumentation department. Can we upload the animations for some of the symbols used in instrumentation department? Uh, thank you very much. Both the questions are very pertinent. Uh, the answer to your first question is obviously yes. You see, today we are conducting a quiz from IIT Bombay in which participants from all the remote centers are answering quizzes. So exactly the same logic will work when you conduct a quiz from your place and other centers which are connected to your college through the network in that classroom will be able to answer. The answer to second question is technically yes, it is possible. However, we have not yet tried putting either the diagrams, pictures, images and animations but we will definitely work towards it. As you will recall, a similar suggestion was made by an earlier representative from other college and eventually we will have this facility also incorporated. There is a college called Kalyani Government Engineering College at Kalyani, West Bengal. Over to you, sir, for a brief question and comment. Sir, myself, Kaushik Dasgupta, I am the coordinator of Akash here. Uh, it was a nice experience for all of us. Uh, I will hand over my mic to my colleague who has a few questions for you. 
Good afternoon, sir. Myself, uh, Mohammad Iqbal Qureshi from Department of Information Technology, Kulani Government Engineering College. Sir, my question is that uh, as this device can be connected directly to the computer, uh, so, sir, is there any security issues related to virus and how all that can be handled? Is there any software inbuilt in that? This is one question. Another is that, sir, that uh, uh, there are some uh, IDs that are not working while we are trying to connect with uh, connect with uh, clicker enrollment numbers are not connecting uh, they are showing uh, some error uh, thank you very much first let me answer the first question uh, security is a perpetual problem in any technology and uh, professor Qureshi you will realize that this is like a what we call a game of chore police and in any game of chore and police the thieves are always two steps ahead of police. So what our job is to work with our students and researchers to continuously plug the loopholes and of course the, the troublemakers will continue to create more problems. Fortunately, Android tablets are not known to have serious virus attacks so far. However, we cannot loosen our guard. Uh, there are several mtech projects which are being, uh, uh, which have been undertaken as we speak in IIT itself and I would encourage more BE and ME students to work with you to address the security problem. As regards the clicker response is concerned, these are the clicker responses that we received from your center. So it, it first of all tells me that you would have received at least 20 tablets by now and we have received no response from two tablets for question one, but for 12 tablets the correct answer was received and for one tablet the wrong answer was received. So we have actually received 15 responses from your college. If there is a problem we will have to detect it. We will of course go over all these details and find out why in some individual tablets were not connected, but this must be a local connection problem because the distributed software is apparently working. Thank you very much. Over and out.